I've been photographing the same family for 45 years. I followed their lives across four generations. And I've traveled to more than 120 countries with them. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back to the start. I got a tip that he was playing at his polo match. He's turned up with a girl called Lady Diana Spencer. And I came across this very pretty looking girl and she had a necklace on with a D on it. I said, can I take your picture please? And she said, yes, and she posed like this. because I was thinking of her and I think this was the end, you know, this was no longer Diana, no longer the beautiful princess. I was just so upset, I was in tears as I left that hospital. She was so nervous, her hand was shaking like that. I literally had to get William to hold her hand steady like that so I could get the picture of the ring sharp. Thanks very much. Good luck with you both anyway. Thanks, Arthur. I mean that. Kiss, 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 kiss. Fabulous, you know. Meg and I thought for that first year it was like absolutely brilliant. She was just sensational. She was just, but it just all went wrong. Today I feel the schism in the family now. I find that just unbearable. When she smiles, you think everything in the world is fabulous. When she smiles, it just gives you a little zing because you know you've got an excellent picture. No way, we wouldn't do the same without you on all these events. You're so kind, kind sir. I'm Thank so you. glad you're making it very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I think about what I've done and who I've met and what I've seen, I can't believe it. <laughs>